Welcome to a demonstration of using my modified ribbon cable crimp tool. Please check the description of this video for a link to my eBay store where you can buy one of these from me. First, I like to mark pin 1 on the connector. There is a triangle here, but it's pretty hard to see. This is where the red stripe on your ribbon cable needs to be. This side of the die is for 2.54 millimeter pin pitch connectors, typically used for older hard drives and floppy drives. The other side is for Centronics and DB connectors. This other side is also for inserting my adapter for 2mm pitch connectors. This demonstration will show you how to do 2mm connectors, but the 2.54mm connectors will use the same technique, just without my adapter. So now we insert the yellow die into the tool with the desired die facing up. Next, we want to make sure our connector has its top installed loose enough for us to insert our ribbon cable. Then, insert the ribbon cable, making sure that the red stripe is in the correct position. You want to leave some extra cable sticking out. This will be trimmed later. Now, if you are terminating a 2mm connector, insert the connector into my adapter. You will notice that my adapter is keyed to match the connector. Now it is time to carefully insert our assembly into the crimp tool. Get the assembly pushed in and centered in the tool's vise. Make sure to check the alignment. The ribbon cable should be perpendicular to the tool. Once everything is set, squeeze the tool firmly. You should hear or feel a positive snap when the crimp is done. The tool is designed to prevent over crimping. Remove the connector from the tool and trim the excess cable. If your connector included a stress relief bracket, install that now if desired. And that is it, you are done. First, mark pin 1 on the connector. This is where the red stripe on your ribbon cable needs to be. Make sure to put the crimp cap on, but only halfway to allow you to slide the ribbon cable into it. One thing to remember is that on all these connectors, you can orient the connector on the cable two different ways, as long as you have the red stripe on the side of pin 1. You want to leave some extra cable sticking out, this will be trimmed later. After inserting and lining the cable perpendicular, squeeze the crimp cap down by hand onto the cable. If you are terminating a female DB connector, use this U-shaped adapter along with the yellow die. If you are terminating a male DB, just use the yellow die as shown. Make sure to center your connector and any adapters in the tool. Check to make sure the cable is still perpendicular.
and crimp. Remove the connector from the tool and trim the excess cable. I have separate adapters for male and female Centronics connectors in order to hold them securely during crimping. I will demonstrate the female as there is this extra step of temporarily removing the locking clip from one end. Make sure to put the crimp cap on, but only halfway to allow you to slide the ribbon cable into it. I like to mark pin 1 on the connector. This is where the red stripe on your ribbon cable needs to be. One thing to remember is that on all these connectors, you can orient the connector on the cable two different ways, as long as you have the red stripe on the side of pin 1. This is my adapter for the Centronics female. The center length is undersized for a 50 pin Centronics to accommodate 36 pin. The only other size is 24, and I suppose you could trim the centerpiece to fit that size as well. After inserting and lining the cable perpendicular, squeeze the crimp cap down by hand onto the cable. Make sure to center your connector and any adapters in the tool. Check to make sure the cable is still perpendicular. And crimp. Remove the connector from the tool and trim the excess cable. One important step in this process for me is to test the connection. Testing is important in retrocomputing to make sure the cable is not suspect. I test every pin, although it's tedious, it only takes five minutes. You can simply test from the connector to the cable end. Thank you for watching this demonstration video. Check the description of this video for a link to my eBay store where you can purchase this crimper with all the adapters included. I'm sure I will be asked to sell just the adapters individually. Unfortunately, it is not worth it for me to do so. Please consider buying the whole kit as a thank you for my efforts in producing the product and this video production.